Yo, welcome back. So today I'm doing something a bit different, which is I've mounted this trunk in yesterday with Ryan from Cablesmith Electrical. Um, so yesterday we had a little bit of a treat, Cablesmith and Ryan come over and give us a hand on this rewire. So we've mounted this trunk in, done loads of little bits and bobs, rewired the upstairs lights. So if I take you in a bit closer, this video is going to include me um, dressing all these. I keep saying, um, just excuse that. So what I'm going to be doing is dressing all these cables neat and tidy. Obviously you've got the different bands. I think that's correct. So I'm going to be putting ethernet the one side and power cables like the lighting and the socket power the other side. So just a bit of separation really. So you get a better connection. So if I just show you currently, there's just lots of cables all flapping everywhere. And we're going to have these AD boxes. If I just get one now. So these AD boxes, where we're going to put the kinetic receivers as this the rewire has the customer has chosen to have kinetic so the wireless switches so obviously you have to have like a i call it like a like a home point so this is where all the receivers are going to be situated and from each receiver you're going to have a cable going from each receiver to each light and then we're right on the receiver like for example master bedroom light and then on the back of the switch master switch and then you can stick it or I don't know, have it wherever you want really. That's the cool thing of Kinetic. So what I'm going to do is, I'm probably not going to film this. I'm just going to dress all these cables nice and neat. And ask the customer where he prefers this to be, the two boxes, whether that's low level or high level, as this section here. So this little alcove is all being made into a, like a wardrobe. So it'll all be hidden. So we've added trunk in rather than chasing in the wall as for future proofing it if the customer ever needs because he said about he's having a wired cctv system installed so he said he needed a place to run all the cables up so he's going to use that that's the majority of the cables in um what i've done is if i show you now i've put the ethernet cables all this side we've used the all-round band to secure them in the sections up there they do kind of go a bit closer together but that's just because there's a big beam here you can only get through there so they go a little bit closer but it's perfectly fine it's only two data cables and it's not like we're as big run, long runs or anything like that so that's fine they're all in nice situ these ones are sweeping out as i the reason i've not put the clips so close together to hold them together is the boxes are going there so what i'm doing is i'm going to get that four inch piece of trunk in butt that up to that i like about four floor level go across and then I'm going to have two AD boxes next to each other, not above each other. Like I said, we're in the previous clip, they're going to be next to each other as the customers have shelves in this unit and they're going to build it around what we do here. So it's going to be good. So the, these ones are obviously the ones fed from upstairs. So they're upstairs lights. So that's going to just sweep up into the first box, which is going to be closest to the trunk in. And then the ones from below, these ones are downstairs lights. So these are going to go up into the trunk in, into, then into that trunk in, going across, and then up into the bottom of the second box, furthest, closer to this wall. So then really, now I need to mount the trunk in and then mount the boxes. Obviously, you want to mount the trunk in first because this is going to put up to the trunk in. So I'm going to go outside, well, level up this, get it where I want it, um, cut the little pilot hole bits, mark it, fix that to the wall, cut out a slot in that trunk in, so I can go into this trunk in, and then cut a slot out of the boxes. So what I've done is I've cut two pilot hole bits, which I'm going to do the same trick as down here, using the ORM band. Um, so what, we're, what I'm going to do is hold that up where I need it and use the marksman and mark, to, mark it out. But I've put these boards back in place for now. No, obviously not screwed them down, just placed them, place them in place. As that's the level, um, obviously this is the finished level I need to work to, so it's a bit easier to just rest it on the finished level. So obviously that's a clean, that's the cut. Is that my cut? No, that's the manufacturer's cut, so that's nice and good. Obviously my cut's still pretty good. Let's flip it around. I haven't actually checked this yet, but yeah, it's good enough with the cap on. Um, so what we're going to do is mark that up, and then I'll mark around the inside of here and cut that out with a moi tool. Maybe even just like a 20 mil hole or, yeah, I'll probably just do a slot so then the cable just can't rub on the plastic. 
Um, so I'll cut a slot out and then I'll hold this up on there and mark it out, making sure I'm leaving a little gap there and lifting it off the trunk in just literally like a mill or two as the lid needs to slide over. Right, scrap everything I just said. I'm not going to put the trunk in up to the floor as I've just thought future proofing it, like doing all this, what's the point in doing all that if you can't even get the boards up? So I'm gonna raise it off, off the floor about two inches. Um, so then it'll be in the air a bit. So it's gonna be like, I don't know, about there, something like that. So I'll just make sure that's level, which obviously you can see is level there and I'll mark it, but I need my hand to do that. It's starting to take shape now, as you can see, uh, that's all level and the boron band's in ready. So I'm just going to get the multi-tool from downstairs, multi-tool a notch out of here, obviously within the trunk in, and then I can put all these cables through, I'll sort out what's what, and put them through into there, and mount this like that, and then have another one there, but the other one's turned up tomorrow, because the wholesaler only had one. So I've had a bit of a tidy up, so I keep saying so, I don't know why. So I put these boards back down, and brought up the stuff so these are all the switches and the receivers which are from expert so that i'm going to keep that in a separate little box one of the other expert boxes we've had ripped apart a little bit and then everyone's probably wondering why is that there but that's going to be my rubbish bin and i thought i'd jam it under there so literally when you're stripping your cables all the electricians will know it literally just drops everywhere so at least it'll drop with the box save tidying up at the end these are all secured in nicely like so and then if i drop you down here you'll see I put a nice sweeping let me move these out of the way nice sweeping bends from the top and from bottom so these ones all unbanded in and then the when the new receiver second one turns up tomorrow that will get situated there and all these i'll do the same again drill a little hole and poke them through so now i'm at the stage where i'm going to unpackage all the receivers get them all ready stick them in place where i want to uh, there's one little shorter one there, so I'll put that in that receiver there so it'll still reach. A bit more progress is made. So what we've got is live neutral earth here, which is our feed. That's going to go at the top. And then in each receiver is going to be a singular cable from one of these. Well, like each live neutral and earth. While the earths, because these are all class two, so the earths will just get connected into there. However, um, what I'm doing is I've got the brother label printer out and then... I've already written on this one, then I realise I'll get the brother out, so just ignore that. So I'm writing bed one, so this is obviously this room, the master bedroom. So that'll be situated down here. And then I'll wire in the live and neutral in the out position, which is labelled on the back. So you can see there, live in, neutral out, neutral out, live out. So I'll wire that in. And then really it's just like a kind of repeat process of figuring out where's what so one's gonna go there i think i'm gonna put one in there one in there one in there and then the others on this side and they come with if i can find it they come with these little sticky pads so you can stick it and they're really strong so they stick to this well I've terminated the first two so what i've done is as you can see the fees has been brought up and then that's my live neutral and earth the earth i had to put down here i was going to originally like i said before put them up here However, I realise gravity ain't gonna work with me there, so, and it'll just be constantly falling down. So, I've and all the earths, the cables aren't too too long to be fair. So, I've uh, once this is all made off, I'm gonna fold that up there, and then it'll all look nice and neat. So, I'm just trying to put nice sweeping bends and stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to get it all to look nice, really. But so I've done landing bed one, and then next I've got what did I say office. So. With this one, I'm using the Nipex cable strippers. So I'm sliding that right through, like so, like that. Sliding that right through, right down towards the end where it enters the enclosure, stripping off the insulation, and then using the singles, because it's only one mil, you can get some nice bends in it, which obviously aren't too much of a bend, but they're, they're enough to make it look nice and neat. And then I'll probably put the landing one here, so, I'll jump back to you once I've terminated quite a few of these in. So that's it really, that's the finished product. What we've got there, we've got bed one, which is the bedroom I'm in, landing, office, bathroom, and then there is an also 
two extra cables, which are one is the feed, which is feeding this box, which is fed from the distribution board, which is down there. And then the other cable is a permanent supply up into the loft, which is going to be for the existing loft lights, which is going to wire them back in. And yeah, so that's really it for making that off. It's just the key points I'd say are making sure you're stripping the right length to go into here. And the other key point is just trying to dress it nice. Um, I won't necessarily leave, you don't really have to think about leaving so much slack as such as nothing's really going to change in here. But there's plenty of room for additional um, receivers if there's ever an extension or anything like that. Right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.